What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk a little bit about PlayStation and a PlayStation Showcase slash experience. So this has been one of the most interesting things to ever bring up. Whenever you bring it up, because there's always something new to kind of say, whether it's not happening you know, in the current month that we're in or the thing has been delayed. But I noticed something, and, and I want to kind of, I guess, put a stamp on where I think they're going in terms of shows in general this year, okay? Now, originally, I thought, and I think there was enough rumors and leaks to kind of back it up. Now, this is maybe why you don't trust them all that much, right? Is that Sony was basically going to do two showcases, much like they did the year that the PS5 was released, right? You had one, I believe, in June, and then you had one in September. Last year, we had that big one in September. So, I think a, a people, you know, kind of thought that. And what it seems to be doing now, and this comes from, like, Jeff Grubb, this comes from Account NGT, what I'm sensing is that the big, and I tweeted this out too, just to make it clear for people there as well, I think the next big PlayStation event, like the big one, the real big one, is going to be in September. But the thing is, I think that's the only one. Now, when I say that even out loud to myself, I do get slightly disappointed, and it's probably just because, I mean, I'm always game to get more game announcements, game reveals, game news, uh, release dates. But at the same time, like, you think back to even back in the day with, like, E3, yeah, these companies normally came out once or twice a year. Maybe they come out for Gamescom, but it's not as big. E3 is, like, that big time, and they're they're quiet, really, the rest of the year. So having a big show on your own, if you're just Sony doing it, in September is not that you know, it's not like a big negative at, at all, actually, to me. Because what I also think that they're going to be doing is doing things like they did for Hogwarts Legacy. I do think there's also enough people talking about whether it's a God of War state of play or just a state of play in general. There is a general feel that they could do one of those in late May or in June at some time. Again, Account NGT has said so. Now, he's deleted actually several of his tweets, so I don't know if, uh, if they're even alive anymore. But he's even said over the last little while that he believes, you know, September, is the big one and maybe we see maybe we don't see a state of play over the next month or two Jeff Grubb talked about some of the stuff uh, that could be happening in June in terms of like big presentations big events and also said you know he doesn't well he, he says it's not for sure that Sony would or wouldn't as well as Nintendo he thinks Sony is a weak maybe like maybe they do it um, but again not necessarily a big huge event so and I guess you could argue, well, if you did a God of War state of play, if you did a 10, 15 minute deep dive into God of War, is that an event or, you know, or isn't it? And I guess that's what you compare it to. I mean, again, it, it doesn't sound, it doesn't seem outside of the realm of possibility from what we've seen before with Horizon and Ratchet and Clank and Demon Souls and even Destruction All-Stars did one, uh, you know, a little while ago or a year ago. So I, I think, and I think that's honestly a pretty okay strategy in terms of my like own personal opinion. Again, I get disappointed that maybe there's not two one-hour showcases that have, like, non-stop game announcements. I mean, selfishly, you know, I want that because I, I find great pleasure in that kind of stuff. But, you know, if Sony goes, hey, September is that big one, and then and then we'll do kind of individual games throughout the year, maybe small state of plays, like literal small state of plays for indie games. If that's the path that they've chosen, which honestly it sounds like they have, that's, you know, that's okay for me. One thing I will say to end this video it does put pressure on that one. See, I think the thing, when you have two, or even, you know, the year, again, PS5 came out, both of those shows were awesome, in my opinion. I mean, the June one was, like, Horizon, Ratchet & Clank, like, uh, Miles Morales, a lot of these games that were announced alongside the PS5. I mean, the PS5 was the big thing there as well, right? And then September, I mean, September is when they did Hogwarts Legacy. September is when they did God of War. So those are kind of the standouts, but I mean, there was plenty in both of those shows that were incredible. So again, selfishly, like they've done it before, I'd like them to do it again. I guess that's kind of the, the mindset I'm coming from, but I get it. So, uh, you know, obviously I want more than one, but it does put pressure because when you just do one, like an E3 or whatever, your all eggs are in one basket. Now, again, maybe that's not true. Maybe not necessarily, right? Because if you do a God of War state of play, if you do a stray state of play, you know, whatever, like, you know, are those solid? Yeah, and they help bridge the gap. But I will say, if you do mess up that September showcase, which you could argue, well, they wouldn't mess it up because you really would have all these announcements that you're building to all in one go that you, you know, you show people. And I would agree with that. I think it's actually very, very difficult to mess up a showcase like that when it's only one a year. And, you know, what I mean, like, how, how are you not going to make that incredible? And to their credit, this past, you know, September one, Wolverine, Spider-Man, it was really good. It was good. It wasn't 
fully consistent. I actually think it could have been better, but like the big hits were about as big as you could ever hope for. You know what I mean? So I, I think they did more than enough in that uh, showcase. It's just, I think it was a little uneven and, and who knows, maybe they fixed that issue this year. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel, bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up. If you want to follow me anywhere else, all my social media is in the description below. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you all on the next video.